Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading. It will be for Tuesday the 10th of August 2021 for all signs. So as always, it may or may not resonate with you. You decide what resonates. Um, remember these readings can resonate a few days longer than when they're released and they won't resonate with everybody like I said. Okay, so what do we have for the day? Tuesday the 10th of August 2021. What is the message people need to hear please? For Tuesday the 10th of August please. Tuesday the 10th of August, thank you. Okay, the Eight of Swords. Crossing that, the Fool. Eight of Cups. Four of Wands. Knight of Swords. The Tower in the immediate future. Hierophant is supporting energies. Page of Pentacles, your environment. Temperance. Two of Pentacles. I've got the Two of Wands bottom of the deck. Okay. Okay. Knight of Swords is an energy of information, communication, conversations coming in. Um, and obviously it's aim the night is all about bringing change to a situation this is a card of progress as well but I also feel in this situation there's some information coming your way now this could be in terms of your mind you might have learnt something as well some information could have come to you this can be as a result of conversations here so however it resonates with you the core foundation we have the Eight of Cups walking away saying goodbye. It can also be a card of just allowing yourself to emotionally move on from disappointment. You know, this can sometimes be a card of physically walking away from something that has played its course or doesn't serve you anymore. Could can also be disappointment. But I also feel in this energy, um, it can just be an energy of putting disappointment behind you as well, you know? Uh, so there's always levels to these cards. The Eight of Swords is negative thinking. Uh, and it's thinking that keeps us stuck in our own head. So some overthinking going on here. Um, you're stuck. Someone is stuck in their own head and there's a reason here. It almost feels like something has come in that wants somebody to walk away from a situation, but they're not. They're not. Now, again, something intuitive is telling you, you know, maybe now is not the right time or maybe now is not the time to just jump into something you know the fool is a wonderful energy of new beginnings but it can be a card of acting spontaneously as well and i just feel somebody is cautious enough in this energy not to act spontaneously they're not moving on this right now. They're thinking about it. They're thinking about walking away or moving on from some kind of disappointment, but they're not right now. Four of Wands is to do with the happy home. Uh, it can be in terms of committed relationships, family. Um, it can be a card of, um, as an energy, the Four of Wands can be a card of harmony harmony in the home, celebration in the home and so on. It just feels that something has come in, in whatever context, somebody is, is thinking about taking the leap of faith towards a new beginning, but they don't want to act rashly. They don't want to act rashly here. So I'm going to, what is this tower? What is this tower, please? It 
Yeah, okay, yeah. So we have the Ace of Swords, truth. Again, some information, maybe some illumination, clarity, you know, that you you have learnt here. It's caused a tower. Uh, the tower is a tearing down of the old. And interestingly enough, we have the... We have the Four of, of Wands here. So whatever this Four of Wands represents, I feel that there's some truth that's come to light here. Or, you know, someone's dealing with this because it's started in their past or in the immediate past. They're not sure of how to deal with it. I just feel that this tower has brought some significant change. Um, Now this is an energy of also getting clarity in how you're going to deal with this tower. The tower is, like I said, square tower. You can see the square tower and the round crown. Square peg round hole. Something doesn't fit anymore. So the universe sends the lightning to tear this tower down. This can be an energy of revelation, truth. Something that actually shakes the very foundations of a situation or a, or a place or a an area of your life can be across your life as well. Something that you thought was stable and secure is revealed to not be built on firm foundations and something comes crumbling down. But with this Ace of Swords, there's also the clarity that you're given in this tower moment. It's almost, almost like for some of you an internal awakening as well. You're given some significant um, internal illu illumination or epiphany in how you want to move forward here. Uh, some internal, maybe some deep clarity of a situation. Remember, the tower can also be an internal energy too. And certainly with this, to do with your mind, your perspective, how you view something, this tower can signify some significant epiphany or awakening that you're getting. You're changing maybe some kind of new view or new perspective that you're getting as well of a situation. Um, but like I said, I feel that there could have been some let information come to light and somebody's thinking about walking away or move, moving on from a situation. I feel you're understanding how you're going to deal with it here. The Hierophant can be a card of have faith. It can be a card of requiring spiritual wisdom, advice. This can be our own internal um, spiritual enlightenment that we need here in a situation what's it all about how do I move forward we may be relying on our faith it can also be about talking to a holy person you know for those of you who speak to a holy person um, for spiritual guidance and life guidance some of you might be seeking advice from that there could be somebody in your life who is guiding you some form of mentor the environment there's an opportunity to plant new seeds and there is an energy of a new level of stability and security. It's almost like someone's at the very beginning stages of building a new tower. You know, it feels that kind of energy. The, 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 the lawn has been sown, the seeds have been planted. We have protection in this card as well. And there's an energy of um, someone is ready to sow new seeds. It feels in this energy you're being offered, somebody is offering some level of... of uh, getting stability back into a relationship. It, it feels that kind of energy here. Because we have hopes and fears, the temperance card is a card of restoring balance. Now, it can be a reconciliation energy too. You know, finding some kind of middle ground here uh, amongst this chaos that has come from whatever situation that you've been dealing with. So it feels in this situation, something has happened. It feels to do with the relationship here. However, there's the opportunity to, to plant new seeds for new growth, a new level of stability and security. And there's an energy here of this experience has taught you and the other person in the situation some serious life lessons. Um, but there's an energy of you have the potential to come through this twice as strong as before. You know, uh, which is why somebody isn't moving away, because I feel the love is still there. I don't see, there's a decision to make. 
and his choices about the future. I don't feel somebody is quite ready. And the message is, if you're not ready to make a decision, then wait until things become clear to you. You know, that two of one's energy is choices about your future. Uh, some of you might be considering, do I take the leap of faith? Do I dive straight in on a new path? Do I go my own way? Do I embrace new um the un unknown territory or do I stay where I am you know it feels that kind of energy here um, and that is what you're toing and throwing on you know what is the value to you what is of greater value to you right now it doesn't feel things are clear right now so you're being told wait until things become clear you know wait until things become clear because at the moment I think that there is definite truth you understand the truth of the situation some of you could be getting some deep perspective on how you want to move forward. However, something is just making you to and fro. I feel that there is an offer to reconcile, to build something new with somebody. However, somebody still hasn't made up their mind. They're still in two minds. And while that is the case, the energy is wait until you're clear. But don't act rashly, you know, don't. Sometimes the fool can be a foolish energy in the sense that the fool dives straight into the unknown without even understanding what he's jumping into, you know. And there sometimes can be an energy with that eight of swords behind. No, I don't want to do that right now for good reason. We have the, the energy of reason and logic stopping you. Um, I'm going to pull... Yeah, you can. Look, okay, I don't need to. You know, I pre shuffle all the cards before readings. I've got the Ace of Swords. You're going to get clarity in what you want to do. Um, and again, the Ace of Swords is whatever, whatever has come to light here in the immediate future, you're going to get clarity on what you need to do with this Tower moment um, and how you want to rebuild your life. There is an opportunity to reconcile with somebody, I have to say. Sometimes the Hierophant can also be a card of, of uh, committed relationships or marriage. You know, this could link with this card as well. It could be a quite a significant relationship, which is why you're not acting rashly. And there's the energy that everything is going to become clear. So just wait until you're clear right now. Okay, so I'm going to pull a final card. being told to choose but choose from a point of absolute clarity uh, because you need to choose wisely in this reading yeah we have transformation I love this card this fairy tells you to us to us let me start again this fairy tells you to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good embrace your transformation the best is yet to come well, that's beautiful because I feel whatever this new beginning is for you um, and whatever you decide, there's beautiful times ahead. But there's definitely an energy of don't act rashly with this decision. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope I'd greatly appreciate that and I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you next time. Thank you.